Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Echo Knight. L Lord of Nightmares. I don't know why I nearly said Lost of Nightmares. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I just played the part of Librarian for this guy. It was actually a pretty fun puzzle. Oh, why? Uh, and he gave us what I presume to be the final bit of a puzzle to get into... Uh, the final room? Actually, let me double check my map. 86.4%. Still roughly 15%. I don't know why you guys decided to make this into your method of button pressing, but okay. Well, that suddenly feels like a trap. Oh yeah, I presume that this guy is going to be staying here until I will go and get the other 29 total people saved out of this place. And yeah, I don't think I'm into that at the moment. I mean, in theory, I could actually do it seen as... Wait... Shoot. Did I screw this up? No, I didn't screw it up. Yet. And then one more. I feel like now would be the opportunity to go to a save point. Where was the last save point, now that I think about it? West Wing Corridor, Conversation Room... Was there one just outside the West Wing Corridor? Yeah, in theory, it would be safest to go about going and finishing up the finished, unfinished business of all the other ghosts now. Uh, seeing as we... As far as I know, busted the other ghosts. But... <laughs> uh, now the part of me really wishes to finish the game and do with what ending I get. Hi. よくここまで来られたものだ。言ったはずだな。私には彼女が。ジェシカの大人しくしていて欲しかったのだが。仕方あるまい。ここで君の探索は終わりだ。ジェシカ。もう時間がない。ずいぶんと<笑> ものは 
だけどそう先のことではないわ一体それはいつだもうこれ以上待ってなどいられるか安心してジェシカさんはあの棺の中よしばらくは持つわ開けるときはこれを使いなさいこれからは毎晩夜空を見上げることねチャンスは一度だけ逃したら終わりよ啊。Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna get stabbed in the face, but that's not creepy. This I don't know what you're talking about. Hello. Where the hell am I? Second wing staircases. Again, I'm not gonna try to mm, tempt fate by pressing buttons to see what layer of the game I'm on. Especially after a moment like that. All right. Oh, that goes to the joined room. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Really? You put a broken vase right there? Is there anything I can do about that? I could not go through the joined room and instead go through the music room. Or the joined room. Shut up. I can't read maps. Um... I was about to get stabbed in the face. Yeah. Okay, so now that I got the Eye of the Week Awakening thingamabob, do I just leave? Do, do I? Do I go to go back to her? No. I want to go back to where would I? Go. I. Bleh. Don't mind me, my brain's just melting in my head. Okay. Do I have to go back to Jessica? Who is in the coffin, not Christina. Wake her up. And then tell her, hey, your your hubby is kind of insane. That that seems to be seems to be the idea here. Alright. Just double checking where we are. Straight forward through the eight to the eight pointed think about verb. This is fine. Oh, please don't wake up into some sort of, like, giant pissed-off demoness or something. You know, I do have to hand it to the guy. Dude... Dude prepared for this. You're giving her a special coffin and everything? Um, excuse me, sleeping woman? I mean, you could have at least stood underneath her to catch her, bruh. Excuse me? You okay? I'm trying, I'm trying to talk to her, I swear. This is... 
なぜこんなところにそうだわ赤い髪の女の人が私をいけない<笑>あの人は人を殺して私のために。Of course, it'd be a clock tower. Why wouldn't it be a clock tower? Of course, there'd be a clock tower. Why wouldn't there be a clock tower? Alright. Oh, I get it. So, yeah. This has pretty much been indicating more and more things on the map、uh, where to go and all that fun stuff. I believe I gotta go back to the gardens to get on a boat. Well, okay, this is fine. I mean, it's less than fine in my head, but this is fine. Wait, why not go into the parlor? It's like part of me is trying to avoid the idea of going to the clock tower at pretty much all costs. Yeah, why did I end up going to the parlor? I don't know. Uh. This'll be fun. This'll be fun. What am I talking about? No, it probably won't. I mean, it's not gonna be no Medusa heads and whatnot. I just think. Oh. So. もうあいつらはいないのか助かった Oh You send away the three other ghosts and you can get the astral piece from him and he can stop kicking at the freaking door At least that's my assumption Um Right, there was the one guy to talk to in here. Wonder if he's alright. Hey, guy, you still blinded by the light? Okay. Um. There is. There is the woman in the house wife's place. How hard is it to get up there? Housewives. Ah,、oh, God. I mean, I'm kind of intrigued as to what's in the room here.、Mm. It, it's mostly a question of how long do I feel like being able to extend this LP. Wait. Locker room, joint room. Oh. Wrong chamber. And yes, I'm still paranoid about something in that room、uh, coming out and just getting me. Because I am, in fact, a coward. Alright. Still locked. Never mind. Hmm. I definitely want to hit a save point before I go. Jumping on that boat, so I might go to the central wing corridor first. And by might, I mean I am. Yep, you're still dead. 
Mostly because I don't remember off the top of my head where there is another save point between here and the boat. Oh, save point over here it is. Hi. I'm not getting chased around by a freaking ghost anymore. I could... I can just go around trying to solve all the ghost problems, but... Eh. <laughs> okay. Through the locker room. Still creeps me out. Yes, I know. Shut up. Hmm. All right. Courtyard. Jessica gonna be down here. Or is she already going to be over there because magical NPC teleportation powers? Probably gonna be already over there. You know what though? I am gonna like this is a short video. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. But when we return, we're going to the island clock tower. Or, you know, post me, we'll simply have to edit this into one longer video if this is just utterly short. When last we left off, we freed Jessica from her coffin and we're about to head to the island clock tower. Oh uh, boy. I wonder how much of a pain in the ass this is going to be. Also it makes me wonder why the hell you got an island clock tower. That's... It's got to be a giant pain in the ass to maintain. Okay. Well, this can't be good. And part of me already wonders if there's a save point. <laughs> like an idiot. Ah. The ladder. Oh, there's a red save point phone. Hmm. Yeah. If I if I ever do feel the urge to check out some of the um some of the other things, some of the other ghosts, I can always just row back. You're the one that didn't stab me. Kimino was that a freaking pump action rifle too? I mean, I'm not a gun aficionado, but oh man, just double checking around the place, see if there's anything. Oh, hello. Can I use the back door. I'm gonna do nothing but interfere. Oh boy, he's got a gun. He's gonna shoot me, ain't he? Yep, he's shooting at me.
Oh, there was an elevator. Haha. <laughs> okay. Dodge left, dodge right. Dodge, dodge. Oh. He's in a glass thing. Never mind. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha. Oh, ha, ha. Gonna shoot at me or not? This is, um... This is a climatic. Oh, okay. Are, are we still fighting? Oh my lord. Okay. This is fine. Ooh. Up the ladder. Hope I don't die. I'm gonna guess that I can easily fall off at this point. Hi. Don't shoot at me. He's gonna shoot at me. Uh, uh. I fell. Oh, jeez. That game over? Yeah, that's, that's game over. Uh, and this makes me glad that I saved at the thing of a burb. One moment, folks. Really quickly, I'm going to see whether or not I can actually enter through the front door in the first place. Nope. Appears to be locked. Okay. Mm, I guess that means I'm just going to have to go this way and hope that I can deal with the uh, terribleness that is walking on gears. Why? Why would I do this to myself? Okay. Can I move now? Thank you. Okay. Double checking, making sure that there's no other way to go. Because it could have sworn the final climax of the first game had a lot more options when it came to where you go. Uh... Yep. This is the thing we're doing, sir. Gotta love that whole waiting part. Okay. Is there any other way to go? Was that him? I think he's already passed. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, okay. I moved it to another ladder. Interesting. Am I still gonna have to deal with moving gears on the third? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm still worried about getting shot. Yeah. Wait, is this the right way to go? Yeah. I think I just did a dumb. That's fine. <laughs> At least I don't have to walk on um the elevator or elevator, the gears. I'm also trying to stop my eyes from being all cross-eyed. Ow! That sounds weird out of context. Ow. Sir, I implore you, stop shooting me. Yeah, suddenly the Crimson Moon life bar makes a lot more sense.
Okay. Stairs. Uh, door. Okay. Oh, stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Get up them stairs, please. Oh, no handrail on this thing either. Christina? Oh, Rebecca. been three years since then. After she ended the life of her own husband, Jessica Clancy never left the mansion. She silently closed her eyes by Albert's side for the last time. After some time had passed, Christina and I got married. We've never spoken about what happened at that mansion. It's all behind us now. But even so, not sure why, but I still can't shake this feeling of dread. Because the soul stone that Albert had with him was never found anywhere near his body. And that was Echo Knight too, Lord of Nightmares. I'm not sure why it was given the title Lord of Nightmares, but there we go. There are multiple endings to this um, based around the number of uh, spectral spheres or spectral pieces that you get from people. I got a total of 16. That's half of, oh, 16? 15. I want to say 16. Um. Uh, yeah. All right, stretching. <sighs> that was fun, though. That was a lot of fun. It was, it was okay. Honestly, there's a lot of situations where I thought that this was going to end up being, you know, a very horrific 
and scary game because it's it's Hakko Night. It's pretty suspenseful. But a good lot of, a lot of it was just tension because I was entering a room for the first time and wondering where the ghost was gonna pop out. But what with the ability to just turn on the lights whenever the hell really wasn't much of a just wasn't much of a scare. A little disappointed in that. Bean. Still, it was a very solid game. The graphics is great. The atmosphere was fantastic. I... And again, I just wasn't that scared of the bosses because they could easily be subverted by going click on with a light switch. I'm not sure how I feel about that ending. But then again, I suppose... I don't know. Total skill points. And... C plus. Novice. <laughs> All because I got shot a lot of times and took my sweet time trying to get... Oh! Less than eight hours. Huh. I like that it took longer. This video is actually shorter than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to splice that up with uh, the other one, most likely. Yeah, this was fun. It's just that it was definitely a lot less scary, a lot less tense than I remember the first one being. Now, you might also be wondering why the hell uh, I decided to play this game instead of, you know, literally any other game that's considered a horror game. Well... Uh, because this is, in fact, a horror game. I am familiar with the Echo Knight franchise, if not just because of the first game. And, um, there's an Echo Knight 3. It's for the PlayStation 2. And it takes place in space. So, I'm going to proceed to hate myself. Because that means that uh, whenever I suddenly feel my balls descend once more after you know deciding hey I'll, I'll play this one that means I'm gonna have to go forth and play that one hey so thank you everyone so very much for watching for listening for enjoying this spooky little treat from from software's early PlayStation days it was a blast even if it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be Oh, we got a new background. Neat. I'm gonna just hit continue so that it goes into this and doesn't loop. Uh, I might play something else that's a little bit shorter for the rest of the Halloween season. Probably, probably not. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm on the fence on the idea. It's gotta be really short. Anyways, thank you everyone so very much for watching, for listening, for... Just generally being around and watching the channel and watching me push myself through anxiety attacks for laughs, I suppose. If you guys like this series, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, you know the drill by now. If you wish to assist the channel in some sort of financial fashion, there are links to both Patreon and Streamlabs down in the description below. And that should be about it. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play. Take care. Cheers.